Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Hope everybody's doing good. So today in this video, what we're going to do is I'm going to take this piece of 1084 steel. It's about an inch and a half wide by three inches long and about three sixteenths of an inch thick. And we're going to turn it into one of these knives. So this knife is something that uh, I just started making recently and that I have a lot of fun with. So it can be used basically with two fingers. So you've got your ring finger, actually that's your middle finger insert, uh, and then a space for your index finger. And then there's a little, little nubby right there for your ring finger. Uh, and then after we make this, I'm going to be making a kydex sheath for it because I like to put these uh, on the belt close to the belt buckle. And after a couple of trials and errors, I figured out a, a good way to do that so that you can actually put the belt through the loop of the sheath. So here we go. Enjoy. So a quick little break here. Uh, as I was making this, I was realizing that some of the other ones I've made, this little tail piece here is more down here instead of up there because as I put my fingers through, I want them to be in line. So bringing that up there is going to make it a little uncomfortable for handling. So I'm going to do a design modification. I'm just going to cut this tail part off and put a groove right here so that the ring finger can sit in there and be more side by side with the other ones. So there we go. All right, so after that last video, I went ahead and I ground off that one wing part so to get a nice groove right there, you can see. So now it fits nicely. What am I doing here? How am I holding this? There we go. So now there's a nice finger groove right here that you can see. There we go, that feels nice. I don't have any video of that because unfortunately I had to update my phone and when I updated it, it changed some settings in my camera so that any video files that I made couldn't be played on another device. So I found that out after I went and did the grinding, the bevels, the quench, the sharpening, the whole nine yards. So unfortunately we don't have that. But with all the video clips earlier, you guys got to see how I actually made this. So now the next part of it that I will get on camera is making the kydex sheath for this. So let's do it. 